something a little different this week to celebrate 25 years of National Netball League here in Aotearoa, New Zealand. We're going to be talking to former players who impacted our game immensely. And joining us today is a former professional, Linda Wagner. Linda, kia ora and welcome to Inside Netball. Oh, kia ora koutou, talo falava, um, alo lele. Um, you know, I'm also for Manuia, um, to see or to Malolosi Uma. Beautiful, Linda. I'm going to start off by asking you about your, you know, your experience in National Netball League. We're celebrating 25 years, but do you think back to your playing days when you see, you know, the ANZ Premiership these days? Always. I'm always comparing it. Um, <laughs> you know, every every opportunity, every opportunity I get to to watch some of our games, um, whether it's international or just our um, league here, you know, domestically, always thinking of, um, you know, especially especially opportunities where if I was on court, I could have done that, or um, you know, if it's if it's really close games and they're international matches, I find it really hard to watch because. Um, you know, I'm so used to being part of what's happening on the court as opposed to sitting back and, and not being able to do anything about it. So that's always really tough. Now, Linda, I remember many a game against you um, as you'd come sprinting <laughs> out and I'd be like, should I duck now at wing attack or what should I do? Also, you bullying me around in the circle a number of times too. But um, oh, is there a particular I'm sure it game? was you running into me, Adine. <laughs> Are you, oh, yeah, defenders always say that, whatever. But is there a particular game over those 25 years um, that really sticks out to you, whether it was a final or just one of the round robin games? Like, is there something that just almost epitomizes your experience in the league? You know, one, ga one game always comes to mind, and it's, um, I don't know if you remember, but it was that 1999 World Cup in Christchurch. Uh, we were playing semi-finals against Jamaica, and um, I think I got brought out, uh, brought on in that last quarter, and we were down two goals. All I could see was up at the score, um, we were down, and it was going to be um, Jamaican centre pass next, and I thought, oh my gosh, and... I was standing in the circle, Benice Mini was ahead of me, and I just saw this cross court go from one end of the circle to the other, and it was going out to Connie, um, the goal attack for Jamaica at the time, and I don't know how I leaped out to get that ball, but managed to intercept it. Our centre pass, we were ahead, and we won, and um, and then the, the thing that was really memorable for me was when one of our former defenders um, and one of our top legend defenders um, approached me at the end of that game saying, well, you woke up at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> you have to tell us who that was, Linda. Yeah, who was it? Oh, of course it was why. <laughs> 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 not afraid of you, why anymore? Not afraid anymore. <laughs> oh, that's funny. One thing that I always find amusing about you is that back in those days, I, I had nothing to do with netball. I was simply a fan, and I was working at AUT. And it dawned on me that you too were working at AUT, and I thought, oh my goodness, that's Linda Wangener. And so I worked <laughs> it out so that if I you know, planned to be waiting in the lift on a certain time, that I could ride to the top lift or top floor of AUT with you and just drop in comments about the weekend. And it's, um, you always did, Jenny. Well, yes, Well, I, and I became very fond of you. And now I sort of bump into you in funny places, like the Hokianga. I think where I last saw you was Kohu Kohu. But anyway, getting that it was fabulous. But going back to the actual sport, I mean, you were a, you were a coach after you were a player. Did you get as much out of coaching as you had playing? You know, I think I've been really fortunate over the last, you know, well, you know, I, I often get asked what has netball given me, and I think, um, or what have I received from netball? I think, if anything, um, netball has given me loads of opportunities to not only, um, you know, be a part of uh, the Silver Ferns, um, which is which was the pinnacle, but also to be able to um, go back to Samoa and give something back to the sport. Um, after learning so much from amazing coaches 
uh, learning, you know, the competitiveness and um, and I guess the camaraderie around our players when when you're playing over for so many years, um, being able to to adopt all of what's really cool, what I didn't like, and be able to uh, instill that into other young girls who were all vying to play at, at top level netball and you know that's been something that's always been special to me and as much as we try to pull away from it and I'm sure like you guys um, it keeps coming back and so you know I, 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 I do love coaching and I've learned so much from it um, and I love watching young people when they make that uh, that I guess that really key moment in their lives and they've realized that they've um, broken through uh, you know the glass ceiling and and made it and now realize that they have to stay up there and, and work even harder. Linda a lot of our younger players and viewers in particular will know Linda Vangana the Silver Fern but not maybe know as much you know what you did on the domestic scene and we are celebrating 25 years of its existence here in mm. Aotearoa so take us back to you know the Northern Force you know who was playing around you and what was it like playing back then? Oh, oh gosh. Um, okay, I'll try and behave while I am um, giving, <laughs> reflecting, reflecting back on um, the good old days. Um, I really, I really enjoyed playing with um, the likes of, um, you know, there was Katie who was playing and who was part of the defensive crew. Um, you know, we had Teresa Tyree who was out in the shooting end. Um, she was forced to be reckoned with. Um, but also had Lorna Sulfour in the defensive, Cheryl Clark, who was um, Cheryl Clark back then. Um, but uh, Tima Pada, who was another force, well, that's a real cool pun, um, force to be reckoned with in the <laughs> midcourt. Um, but, you know, there were so many, I, I found that there were so many, what I loved the most was the fact that we had a whole lot of girls um, from diverse communities. We were all representing force on the North Shore. Um, and probably at the time, force had a different look. Uh, you know, I was all, I grew up thinking that force was part of North Shore, and um, North Shore was always a, a community where you had sort of elitists around netball, and um, and all our Pakeha young girls used to come through netball, and then all of a sudden there was just this raid of um, just such diversity, and I think that was probably one of the key. Uh, memorable moments that I remember where everyone sort of looked like me. Um, we had a coach that, um, well, a number of coaches that all came on board and, and supported the force team, but, um, but probably we also had uh, some of our Fijian girls who joined us from, uh, from in Fiji, and, um, and a lot of them would live with us. Um, I had a big home out in West Auckland and mum and dad had moved here to the shore uh, running their ministry and um, you know had a home that was open to a lot of netballers come and go. You're always and you can see it with that smile you're always the cheeky little one uh, that you know always <laughs> a little joke going on always a little, <laughs> yeah I won't give anything too big away but always so much fun but I'm going to put you on the spot about this year because you've just talked about your connection to the North Shore, but no doubt you've been watching a few games. So this year, mm. if you're going to make prediction, I know we're only at round three, does your heart still lie up here with the Mystics or does your head tell you someone else is going to take this competition out in 2022? 100% with the Mystics. Sorry, <laughs> Um They're looking so good. They're looking great. You know, um, there's some great leadership in there. I've seen some great growth uh, with some of our young girls. Um, oh, and, and they've got a great management team that are obviously now, um, you know, there's some good, um, they've, they've got things right. Um, I can see some players that are uh, defensively, you know, we've lost some, but I've enjoyed watching that too, seeing some of our girls all sort of move around. And, you know, you sort of have lost where that loyalty is back in the days. And I don't know if you remember, Adine, but back in the days, everyone just stayed in their region most of the time. Um, but it's neat that we're sharing the love. You know, we've got um, players sort of all, all moving around New Zealand and um, and it's all adding value, uh, whether it's whether it's um, supporting someone young that's coming through or um, or adding value from, from putting experience in there. 
Well, Linda, thank you so much for the insight today. Namahi kia koe, Linda. Thank you so much for being here with us. Of te lava. Of te lava.